jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes Please get yourself comfortable lying down on your bed or sitting in a comfortable chair. We're going to do a body scan, focusing first of all on the top of your head, noticing how your scalp feels, the top of your head moving down to the side side of your head, move into your temples, moving down to your ears, your right and your left ear, focusing on the back of your head. Noticing how you feel, not trying to change the way you feel, not trying to increase relaxation or decrease any feelings of stress or tension. At this point, you're just observing, you're just noticing. you focus on your forehead, I like to move my eyebrows up when I focus on my forehead, because it causes it to crinkle and you can get more of a sense of how your forehead feels. frown your eyes as well. And the reason I do that is because I find that I have a tendency of holding tension in my forehead and my eyes. So it's nice to be able to get in touch with the feelings so I know parts of my body to focus on when relaxation is required in those particular parts of my body. Now focusing on your eyes, your eyelids. muscles around your eyes, and again maybe moving your eyebrows up and squinting your eyes can actually help for you to get in touch with how your eyes feel as well. accepting however your eyes feel, not trying to change them, just observing. Moving your focus now to your cheekbones.
face by moving the muscles of your cheeks. And you know if there's a part of your face that you can't quite focus on, what you could do is just touch that part of your face with your fingers. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to touch my cheekbone. with one finger and even though I'm not touching my face anymore there's still that sensation of when I did and it's easier to get in touch with that particular part of my face just to notice on or to really get an idea of how your nose feels because let's face it it's a part of us that we probably ignore most of the time so you might find a benefit of just crinkling your nose up or flaring your nostrils or something like that just sensations in your nose or again you might find benefit from just gently touching your nose with your finger just gently tapping very gently just so you can get more of a sense feels now there may not be any obvious signs of stress or tension in your nose but it might you might experience it in different ways you may find that the sinuses feel a bit at the same time that may be a sign of a bit of tension it may not be as well but these are the parts that quite often get ignored during a relaxation session It's quite nice to include all parts of your face. And with your fingers again, I'd like you just to gently tap your temples either side. Just very, very gently. in how it feels as we now move and focus to your ears now I I struggle to actually feel my ears just by thinking A sense, I know they're there, but I can't really, um, that 
it's like you can tense the muscles in your arms or you can it's easy to feel those muscles but with your ears well I don't find it quite as easy just by focusing on them so what I'm gonna do and you may wish to do it as well is I'm just going to gently explore my ears the outside not inside the ears but the outside lobes with my fingers just gently touching my ear lobes sensation of my ears now moving the focus to my cheeks now I find it easier to get in touch with the cheeks on my face by just moving my jaw around, opening my mouth a bit, well quite, quite wide actually, but just do what feels comfortable for you. stop doing it you can still feel almost the finger imprints upon your cheeks even though you are very very gentle I notice that I can get in touch with the insides of my mouth especially the sides I can feel the sensations of my mouth you can focus on your lips to get more of a sense of how they feel I can move them around almost like you're about to blow a kiss or something just to get in touch with the feeling of your lips Just tap gently on your lips. Noticing how your lips feel. on your tongue you can move your tongue around if you need to get more of a 
and wide but only do and only go as far as is comfortable for you to do so you don't need to open it really wide just enough so you can get a sense of that stretching Just again gently tap with your fingers on your chin. Allowing you to be in touch with the feelings of your chin. on my neck by just crunching my neck up and stressing or tensing rather the, the muscles in the front of my neck. And just letting go. throat as well, not just your neck, there's your throat, so if it helps to get more in touch with that feeling of your neck and your throat, you can again just gently tap or just press gently with your fingers on your neck, the front of your neck. 
this is a part that is often left out in relaxation sessions, it's almost ignored, yet it's just as important as any other part of your body when it comes to relaxing. sides of your neck. If you're able to reach it with your hands. I know that maybe some people listening may struggle with the mobility of reaching different parts of your body to tap. So another way you can do it is by side to side very gently and when you do that it stretches the sides of your neck and you can feel that area which then allows you the opportunity to just observe how you feel in the sides of your neck It's an obvious uh, place where tension is often held. At least it is for me. Now if you are unable to, to really get a sense of how the back of your neck feels, as far as feels comfortable, just allow your head to just move backwards. Only as far as is comfortable. And you could also allow it to move forward. So moving your head from side to side, stretches the back of your neck, and just by observing the feeling Observing that, that noticing without expectation, you're almost just giving those parts of your body that you've observed, you're giving them permission to just be. No rules, no commands, just be how you want to be, feel how you want to feel, accepting whatever comes up. 
physical sensations. You're just accepting yourself and who you are. And you're accepting your feelings for how you feel without There's a stillness that fills your mind and that stillness also It's right. 